Michel Barnier, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, last week set out the bloc's 120-page draft Brexit treaty, with the Brussels as demands to align Northern Ireland with its own rules, including the customs union, to avoid a hard border. Theresa May quickly responded to the demands and said no British Prime Minister would accept the proposals by the EU, speaking in response to the Prime Minister's latest Brexit speech in the House of Commons. On Monday, following her Mansion House address on Friday, Ms. Therese Mogg targeted the EU, the leading Brexiteer said, does my right honourable friend, having made such generous offer to the European Union, expect more generosity than they have shown so far. P-A-R-L-I-M-E-N-T-T-V Getty Brexit News, Jacob Rees-Mogg accused the European Commission of aggression in the House of Commons, I think particularly of the aggression in the draft legal text of suggesting a solution to the Irish problem that would have been in contraction of the supply and confidence agreement with the DUP and threatened the existence of the government, as my right honourable friend think it is right that the European Commission too behave in such a high-handed fashion, the Prime Minister was quick to repeat the European Commission's proposal would not be implemented post-Brexit. She said, what I would say to my right honourable friend is that we are in a negotiation. Does my right honourable friend think it is right that the European Commission to behave in such a high-handed fashion? Jacob rees -Mogg. both sides put the positions at various stages, but just as the European Commission chose to put that very position forward, so it was absolutely right for this government to be clear and I repeated it last week in Prime Minister's questions and I am happy to do it again. The suggestion that there should be a border down the Irish Sea, separating Northern Ireland from the rest of the United Kingdom is completely unacceptable to this government and I believe any government in the United Kingdom, speaking last week in Prime Minister's questions following the release of the draft proposal by Michelle Barnier, Mrs. May said, the draft legal text the Commission has published would, if implemented, undermine the UK common market and threaten the constitutional integrity of the UK by creating a customs and regulatory border down the Irish Sea, and no UK Prime Minister could ever agree to it. Thursday, February 8, 2018, civil servants are anti-Brexit. I will be making it crystal clear to President Juncker and others that we will never do so. Speaking on Monday in the House of Commons, the Prime Minister said the UK was looking at border arrangements in a number of counties around the world to solve the issue of the Irish border. Mrs May proposed during her landmark speech on Friday that technological solutions and an exemption from new restrictions would help solve a broad range of issues for trade carried out by a large proportion of small businesses. Mrs May is hoping to get a post-Brexit transition period signed off at the European Council Summit of EU leaders on March 22-23, but tensions over the Irish border issue remain and could hold up an agreement.